Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we looked be briefly at the Stripe API reference. In this lecture, we will explore Stripe customer API in detail. We will try to create customer on Stripe from Rails console. So let's start with this. Okay, first open the Rails console and then instantiate the Stripe service object. Okay, so go to the terminal. Okay, and let's clear the console and open the Rails console here. In this Rails console, let's instantiate the Stripe service object. Okay, so Stripe equal to Stripe service dot new. Okay, so our Stripe service instance has been instantiated. Now open the Stripe API for customer resources. So go to the Stripe API reference and you can find the customer inside the core resources. Okay, so let's all click on the customer. So you can find the details about the customer's object here like what are the attributes for the customer objects and which are required okay now click on the create a customer method or link sorry so here you can see that uh, a customer can be created using stripe customer create method okay but here it has only used description argument to create the customer but we will create customer by providing some more arguments like name email and phone okay so let's try to create a stripe customer okay so come to the terminal and here what we need to do that stripe first assign it to some object let's say st equal to stripe and customer dot create and here we need to provide the argument so you can provide name let's say Chetan Singh and email as Chetan at the rate example dot com okay and then password uh, sorry font phone number must be some string And now close this you can see that uh, when you submit this you will get a stripe customer created so you can open it by choosing st okay so here you can see that st has a customer id okay and it has a name chetan singh and there is an email chetan at the rate example.com okay now to verify it more precisely you can go to the stripe dashboard okay and you know when you refresh the customers tab you can see that the same stripe customer has been added to your customer dashboard as well so here you can see that chetan's at that example dot com customer has been created on the stripe now let's try to create the same customer again so here you can create st2 equal to stripe customer dot create and then provide name say Chetan Singh okay and email must be the same as the previous okay, yes, sorry email it must be Chetan at the rate example.com okay and now phone and it must be the same as well okay and close this and submit it okay so when you submit it you will see the st2 also create a customer on a stripe with the same data okay and now when you again refresh the customer dashboard you will find that another user which has the customer name chetan and email at chetan at the example dot com has been created so what we can see here that we have two cust two identical customer with same data okay and that is something that we should avoid because creating multiple customers with same data on a stripe does not make sense so we can use the retry stripes customer retrieve method to fetch an existing customer from stripe okay so come to the stripe api reference and you can see that there is a method is retrieving a customer okay so let's try to retrieve a customer how we can do that so 
we can do it like let's say is type customer dot retrieve and then let's say st1 dot id st dot id so you can see that we got this customer like this okay and similarly we can fetch another customer by st2 dot id okay because st and st2 are the two stripe customers that we created from the rails console okay so you just need to provide the id of stripe customer to retrieve it from the stripe okay and this way we can avoid creating multiple customers with similar data on stripe now let's try to update a customer so you can call update customer api for it okay so let's try to find let's uh, cus1 equal to stripe dot sorry you can find this let's say provide it customer1 okay cus1 equal to stripe now you can update data like uh, let's say stripe customer dot update okay and you first you pass the id as the argument okay so let's provide it here so first one dot id okay and then you can update its name let's say v kashyap and you can change email as well let's say ravi at the rate example 2 dot com okay and close it and when you submit it you can see that the details of the customer has been updated and you can verify this on stripe customer dashboard so come to the stripe dashboard and refresh the page okay and you will find then one of the chetan one of the customer with that first name is chetan and email is chetan at the example.com has been updated so now you can see the updated information here that name is ravi kashyap and email is ravi at the example.com okay so similarly you can try to delete a customer from stripe from stripe as well okay so for that you need to visit this delete customer api so here you can see that stripe customer delete and you just need to pass the id okay so here we have some an st object okay so we can try like stripe customer dot delete and st dot id okay and it will remove this chetan sync from the stripe okay so let's refresh the page and you will see that this chetan sync will not appear here after deleting it okay so here you can see that chetan sync has been deleted from the stripe okay that's it so you saw how to create retry update and delete customer from the stripe and i'm sure after trying this at your end you will definitely have better idea of how to use stripe customer apis okay now it's time to implement this method inside the stripe service class since we only create a customer on stripe if it does not exist so we will name this method as find or create customer okay because uh, suppose if customer is already existing on the stripe then first this method will try to find if customer present on the stripe okay else it will create the customer on stripe and update the stripe customer id into the local customer or into the customer of our rail set okay so let's open the stripe service class and here we need to implement the method so let's write the method def find or create customer and here we can pass the customer object okay and now let's close this method okay since we passed a customer object here so we need a customer object into our local rails app as well so go to the rails console and try to create a customer so you can create customer like customer equal to customer dot create and here you can provide let's say first name equal to alex hills email email equal to alex hills at the rate example dot com and then 
contact number is let's say that's nine one. Okay, so sorry, I made a mistake here. That it's not first name; it's full name inside the customer. Okay, now submit it. Okay, so you can see that we got a customer. So when you access this, you will see the details of the customer. And here you can see that we have one more attribute that is Stripe customer ID as Neil. Why? Because uh, we can only create customer on the on our local app. Okay. But Stripe customer ID will be nil and it will get updated when we call the find or create method inside the Stripe service class. So now it's time to implement this method inside the Stripe service class. Since we create customer first time and without any card details, so this customer is not registered on the Stripe for now. But we need to check whether a customer is present or Stripe or not first. Okay. So and if not, then only we will create a new customer on the stripe else we will fetch existing customer from the stripe okay so first let's try to fetch a customer from the stripe okay so what we can do here that if customer dot because we know that to fetch the customer from the stripe we need the id of stripe id of the customer okay so first check that whether this customer's stripe customer id is present or not stripe ID dot present now if this customer ID present then we need to find the stripe customer ID sorry stripe customer so we can use stripe customer dot retrieve and then customer dot stripe customer ID okay else we need to create the customer okay and here we cannot find the customer from stripe now because the customer in our rails app has no stripe customer id okay so let's create a customer on stripe from our for our rails app customer okay so what we can do here that we can create a stripe customer like stripe customer equal to stripe Sorry, type customer dot create and then we can provide name as customer dot full name email as customer dot email on as customer dot contact number okay and once this customer created on the stripe what we need to do that we need to update the stripe customer id on our rails apps customer okay so now update the customer customer equal sorry customer dot update and what we need to update here is type customer id is equal to is type customer dot id okay save this and now after and come out of this if else block and return the stripe customer okay and save the file now now what we need to do that since we updated our stripe service class by this method so we need to restart our console okay so exit from the rails console and let's run let's clear the terminal and now restart the console okay and after restarting the console we need to reinstantiate the class so let's say it's type service equal to stripe service dot new okay so we instantiated the class and now what we need to do that we need to first face the customer from our rails app so customer equal to customer dot find one okay so we have a customer okay, now we will create this customer on the stripe okay so let's call the 
type customer equal to type service dot find or create customer and then pass customer object okay and now hit the enter okay so here you will see that a customer has been created on the stripe and there is a callback eh, sorry there is an update query which has been executed that we set the stripe customer id or the customer id returned by the stripe into the stripe customer id of our local customer or customer into our app okay now you can print the stripe customer as well so let's display this data okay and you can verify it through customer dashboard as well so okay so when you refresh this you will see this data on the or you will see this newly created customer on the stripe customers list as well so here you can see alex helps alex at the rate example.com okay that's it we implemented the method to create or find a customer into stripe service class let me show you again okay so we name it be find or create customer because first we intended to find that whether the customer is exist on the stripe or not if it exist then use the existing customer else create a new customer on the stripe okay and that was the purpose of this lecture i hope you like this and now let's give this a try at your end and let me know if you found any issues while trying this stripe create customer apis or stripe retrieve customer apis okay and thanks for watching this and let's meet into the another lecture where we will look at the stripe token and card apis okay so till then try this at your end and let's meet to let's meet in another lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe